I read a book uh, 15, 20 years ago called Doing Local Theology uh, by Clint oh, yeah, Sedmack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was, that was so helpful to me. Um, just recognizing even locally, we do our own kind of theology based on where we live and our experiences and who we're surrounded by and all of that and what our perspective is from the town that I live in or whatever it might be, you know, and that's worth pursuing learning. Um, you have any thoughts on just the idea of local theology? Uh, maybe it fits with I, everything you've been saying. <laughs> I mean, I use his book. I use his book in my class. And, you know, oh, okay, good. Because uh, he talks about waking up, waking up to mm. see what's happening, right? Yeah. You know, so much of it is being aware of what's happening. Like the fact that, hey, what we take for granted isn't normal. Isn't even yeah. biblical, <laughs> mm. right? So one of my one of my uh, me uh, mentors uh, from my seminary days is Daryl Guder, who basically is the editor of uh, Missional Theology. Mm -hmm. And his big yep. point, and even Leslie Newbegin, we both, you know, all of us were influenced by. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of Missional Theology was using missiological tools for the mm. North American context, right? For European mm -hmm. context and saying, wait a minute, this is a context. This is not just Christian context, you know? So what does it mean to really think about this context as a thing and the fact that the context is doing certain things to you whether you like it or not mm. right i use, often use the metaphor of like you know a fish swimming in water like what's the water and this is it's impacting you whether you like it or not yeah now